Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the uploads. In today's video, gotta do a quick story about Monique Samuels, Chris Samuels, and Jamal Bryant. If you've been following this whole situation on the Real Housewives of Potomac, then you understand that Monique's binder is pretty much the star of this reunion because she brought some uh, apparent details in regards to Jamal still being in a relationship with a woman for like the last eight years and that his relationship with Giselle really was just for television, which makes me look back on the season very differently. Anyways, Jamal decided to come on social media, pass to Jamal Bryan, I should add, to share his own binder details about Monique Samuels and Chris, accusing Chris of having CTE having, um, you know, having a very verbally abusive conversation with someone else that people are rumoring is Sharice Jordan. Who knows? Anyways, he, Pastor Jamal has also sent a cease and desist to the, the Samuels. They have countered and sent a cease and desist asking for a public apology in regards to the comments that he made about Chris Samuels. This whole situation has gotten out of hand especially with the cease and desist of everything, of it all. It's, it's been a mess. I talk about it in tomorrow's podcast in more depth, the reunion, everything like that. So be sure to subscribe. A link will be in the description of this video. But I had to talk about this specific story because I didn't realize that this was even going on between the Samuels and Jamal Bryant. I wouldn't be surprised if Giselle over there rooting him on, but his whole lie that he did the other day coming out with his own quote unquote receipts and binder kind of blew up in his face because everyone was sort of saying, yeah, it still doesn't clear your name. It, it still doesn't. So I'm sure that's part of the reason why he still sent a cease and desist in regards to his number also being uh, said on the show. But of course, Bravo did the right thing by bleeping it out. Not, sh not sure what Jamal is trying to do here, but as a pastor, not to say, you know, pastors are not human and pastors don't have their, their own reactions, but you also have to think about this is your job. You are representing your church, even though I've heard stories allegedly that he might not be the pastor of that church much longer, but you're still the head of a church. You're still representing a church. You're still representing a congregation. And this is not a good look for this church. So it wouldn't be surprising if Jamal is no longer the pastor of this church in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a messy story. I know a lot of people are over talking about it, over this whole situation, but it continues. Don't forget a 90 minute part three of the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion will air this Sunday. I'm excited to see it just because it's been good so far. It's been interesting. I, I'm so glad that Monique has been doing bindering during her time because she is dropping a lot of information and there is, Still more tabs that we have not explored. Let's talk about it in the comments. Share your thoughts on all of this mess. <laughs> it will, and I'll have the conversation with you as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.